Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm making two snow globe tumblers. I purchased these from 143 Vinyl. They are new on their website. These are glass tumblers and they are 20 ounces, so they are a pretty good size. They are double walled, so you can add liquid and glitter inside that double wall. They have pre-made openings at the bottom, which makes it super easy. I can't wait for you to see this tutorial because they turn out absolutely beautiful. If you are new to my channel, my name's Kayla and I do a ton of Cricut and crafting tutorials. I would love it if you subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. For my first tumbler, I'm using this glitter. It's called Unicorn Bay. I wanted a pink glitter, but 143 Vinyl was out of stock of it, but I liked how it had this pretty little shimmer of pink inside. For this project, you'll want chunky glitter. I also decided to pick up some fine glitter to throw in with it as well. For my liquid mixture, I grabbed my one-third measuring cup and a mixing cup. For my mixture, I'm using two-thirds cup water, and I'm also using vegetable glycerin. I'm only using one-third cup of the vegetable glycerin, and what this does is it allows the glitter to flow a little bit slower. Once I'm done with that, I make sure to stir it up. I turn my tumbler upside down and on 143 Vinyl's website, they recommend adding just a tiny bit of the water mixture in first before you start adding in your glitter. What I have seen that a lot of people do is just add their glitter before the water mixture. So I'm not sure what's the correct way, but this seemed to work fine. Now I'm ready to add my glitter. I grab a little plastic cup, I pour in my chunky mix first, and then I pour in some of that fine glitter and I mix it up. I'm just gonna say now I am not a fan of the fine glitter, so I will show you later why. Before I add my glitter, I place some tape around the edge of the tumbler. This is the best hack that I saw when I was looking up these glass tumblers. It works so well to contain the glitter. I pour my glitter on top and then I grabbed a mini popsicle stick just to help guide the glitter inside. I also took the palm of my hand and tapped against the glass and that worked really well too. So I just did a mixture of both and then I kept adding glitter. It is totally up to you how much glitter you want to put inside the cup. I might have gone a little overboard here pouring the glitter, but I think it ended up being a fine amount. Here's what the tumbler looked like when I was done adding the glitter. Now I'm ready to add my liquid mixture. I tilt my tumbler to the side and that way it just helps with air bubbles. And I also rotated the tumbler as I went. I'm not sure if you have to do that, but that's kind of how I decided to do that. I continue to fill up my syringe and the tumbler. Also about halfway through, you'll wanna give it a good shake and then I just continue to keep filling up that liquid. I sped up the video here. I didn't go as fast as it's showing, but like I said, I just keep filling it up. I'll shake it every once in a while and you'll want to fill it all the way to the very top of the tumbler. You can see that there is a bubble inside and it's a pretty good size. So what I try to do is just guide it so it's right by that opening. And then I grab my liquid mixture and I place that inside and I try to fill in that bubble. Now that I have it totally filled up, I'm going to move on to my blue tumbler and I'll come back to this one. I'm using Sea Beauty Chunky Glitter for this next one. This is super pretty. I was not happy with how this tumbler turned out and I'll show you why. I'll show you what I made a mistake on and then I'll show you how I redid it. I already have my liquid mixture mixed up and here I'm just adding just a tiny bit in like I did last time. 
I decided to mix up the blue chunky glitter with the white fine glitter, but as you can see, I pour a ton of the fine glitter in, like way too much. And you can see I add even more. Also, the chunky glitter is actually a mix, so it already has some fine glitter in it, which I didn't even think about. Here, I'm just adding the glitter inside of the tumbler the same way that I did last time. I'm also adding the liquid in the same way. After I was done, look at this huge clump of glitter inside of the tumbler. And all of that is that fine glitter clumped together. I saw you can add rubbing alcohol inside of it and it can help loosen up that clump, but I just think it was way too far gone. <laughs> Look at all of that white with the clumps there. It was just not working. So I actually ended up emptying out the water and the glitter. I had my husband help me because it didn't come out very easily, but we ended up getting most of it out so I can start over. Here's that same tumbler and I'm just adding a little bit of the liquid mixture and here I am adding the tape along the edge. You would almost never even know that I had already filled this one up. This time I am only adding the blue chunky glitter mix. I pour it on the top and then just start guiding it inside of that pre-made hole. After that's done, I start filling up my tumbler with the liquid mixture and I do it the same way. I fill it up, shake it up a little bit and just keep going until it gets to the very top. Once both tumblers were done, I let them sit overnight this way because it's supposed to let any of the air bubbles rise to the top. So this is the next day here. And as you can see, there's a pretty large air bubble in the blue tumbler and there's also a small air bubble in the white one. So I decided to do the blue one first and I just moved the air bubble around and try to fill it in with that liquid mixture and I was just struggling so much to get rid of the air bubble. You can see that it's quite a bit smaller, but I just could not fully get rid of it. I don't know if it's because I've already filled this tumbler out and had to dump it out, if that got some air pressure or something in there, but also there is a tool that you can use that has a syringe with a fine tip on it. That might work a little bit better, so maybe try giving that a try. I also tried the alcohol trick and just could not get rid of that bubble. Moving on to the white one, I followed the same process and I was able to get rid of that air bubble pretty well in this one. Now I'm ready to seal up my tumbler. I'm using UV resin to seal it up. This is the first time I've worked with UV resin and it worked so well. That vegetable glycerin has a lot of oil, so I use rubbing alcohol to clean the top. Before adding the resin, I place a sheet of vinyl over the opening. I actually wanted to use bumpers and place it inside the hole, but the ones I bought were too big. I'm not sure if you can buy smaller ones. I saw you can use Gorilla adhesive dots as well. I did the vinyl sheet because that was my only option and I wanted to get the video posted. I'd probably recommend the other two over the vinyl though. When adding the barrier, you just want to make sure the hole is completely dry. I place my resin on top and smooth it out with my popsicle stick. After that, I place my UV light over the resin and it only takes about three minutes for it to cure. I will also make sure I link everything that I'm using in my description box. I decided to add another layer of resin on top after that and put some of the glitter inside of that just to hide my white vinyl patch. I lay the glitter on and try to get it as flat as possible. I really think using your finger might be the way to go instead of using the stick, but then I place my UV light back on top. The UV resin says it's toxic free, but you do still want to wear gloves. You also want to ventilate your area while working with it. I go back in and add one more layer of UV resin. I just want to make sure it's nice and smooth over that glitter. You also want it smooth so that the cup sits up the correct way. I place my UV light on top one last time. 
Next, I move on to my blue tumbler. I spray it with alcohol just to get it nice and clean. You can see that bubble on there. So like I said, try to get as much of the bubbles out as possible, but I'm just gonna give it a try like this. I do the same thing with the vinyl where I set that over the hole and then I place my UV resin on top. And after that, I place my UV light to let it cure. I followed the same process as the other cup, adding my UV resin and glitter. I probably should have used blue vinyl so you can't see it as well. You might also be able to buy clear vinyl. But once again, like I said, I would try the bumpers or the adhesive dots over the vinyl sheet. Here's how the white glitter tumbler is looking. It is so pretty. I keep moving it back and forth because I am mesmerized by it. But once again, I would not use the fine glitter. You can see how it's kind of clumped up in there. So I'm really mad that I use that. And also this chunky glitter is a chunky glitter mix. So it has all different sizes. So I would just completely skip the fine glitter altogether. Here's how the bottom of the white tumbler looks after it's cured. Here's how the blue tumbler is looking and I love it. It doesn't have any of that added fine glitter in it. It does have that bubble towards the top, but oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I absolutely love how this turned out. Next, I'm going to add vinyl to my tumblers. So I'll show you how I put this together in Cricut Design Space. For the white glitter tumbler, I'm going to upload an SVG. I thought this was super cute. I bought it off of Etsy and all of her files are adorable. I will link this down below. I like how she has the colors here. I'm just going to change the Needs Coffee to a darker pink color. For my size, I'm going to make it 3 inches for the width. Now for my blue tumbler, I'm just going to put my name on it and I'm using the font Pretty Hardy. I'm going to type in Kayla. I am going to turn this and have it run along the length of my tumbler. I'm also going to use an offset. I'm going to zoom in. I feel like my name could get lost in the tumbler, so I am going to try an offset. And I want the offset to be pretty thin, so I'm going to bring it really close to the center. I think that looks good, so I will select apply. For my offset color, it's going to be white. And my name, oh, I changed the wrong one. <laughs> For my offset one's gonna be white, and my name is going to be a holographic blue. Now for my size, I'm going to highlight over both of these layers so it sizes together, and I am going to make it four inches for the height. Okay, now I'm ready to click make it. It's going to separate these on different mats based on their colors. I'm using all regular vinyl except for holographic for the blue. So when it goes down to the blue, I will change it to the holographic vinyl setting. But for the first one, I am just going to select vinyl for my cut setting. I'm using StarCraft HD vinyl. I place it on my mat and then the Cricut will cut it out. After that, I just follow what color comes next and have the Cricut cut out all of the vinyl pieces. I'm going to do my white tumbler first. I just weed out both pink vinyls. After I'm done with that, I place my transfer paper on one of the vinyls and then I add it to my other sheet. I like to do it this way so it's all on one transfer paper before I place it on my glass. That way I don't have to layer directly on that round glass. As you can see, I sprayed the glass with rubbing alcohol. It had a little bit of oil residue on it and then I add my vinyl onto the glass. I love the vinyl colors with this. I will show the final product at the end, but now I'm moving on to the blue glitter tumbler. 
I'm just weeding out my vinyl again. The holographic, I believe, is tech wrap vinyl. It didn't say on the back, and it was in my scrap uh, basket. So I think it's tech wrap. They are my favorite usually for holographic vinyl. I want this to be lined up perfectly and it's kind of tricky with those thin letters so I use the parchment paper hack to make sure I have it totally lined up. I press down just a little bit of the side then remove the parchment paper and place down the vinyl. This by far is my favorite Cricut hack that I've ever learned. Now I'm ready to spray down my tumbler and add my vinyl. Here's how these tumblers turn out. They are so beautiful. I keep shaking them so I can watch the glitter move around in there. They are just so neat. I hope you found this video helpful and you could learn with me through my mistakes in this video. But if you have any questions, then just let me know in the comment box below. Let me know if you've made these glitter tumblers also and if you have any tips or hacks for the rest of us. But I would love it if you subscribed if you are new to my channel and I hope you have a great day.